The day after lapping the Mercedes AMG GTR around the Algarve International Circuit near Portimao, Portugal, Mercedes flipped me the keys to the AMG GLC 43 coupe for an hour plus tour around the hilly countryside. Nothing too extreme or unusual, just the sort of back roads you might end up on during a weekend getaway with a spouse or the whole family. Or by yourself because those damn holidays really took their toll. We won't judge. Now, the car for such a getaway would be the high-performance version of the fastback four-door coupe version of a vehicle that is effectively the crossover SUV version of the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. There's just never a flowchart around when you need one. Yet, as I discovered, the 2017 Mercedes-AMG GLC 43 coupe isn't as nonsensical as its name and origins would indicate. The drive starts swimmingly. I push the start button and the Turbo 6 thrums to life along with the Burmester sound system that was left tuned to a Portuguese radio station. In the Navy starts blaring over 14 speakers. With the city behind me, I swing the GLC 43 through a roundabout and get a brief taste of the body control ABC provides before charging onto the highway. The 3.0 liter turbocharged V6, hand built by one guy in Affalterbach produces 362 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque. I don't think it'll make you giggle like an AMG V8 will, it's not quite historic rich or boisterous for that, but the engine represents a clear performance upgrade over an impressive turbocharged four-cylinder in the GLC 300. Mercedes says the 43 will hit 60 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds which compares with the GLC 300's estimate of 6.4 seconds, just for some perspective as 060 times are otherwise a bit silly. Once up in the mountains, it's easy to forget that the GLC 43 is an SUV. Despite some tighter, more technical stretches, the GLC Coupe really doesn't feel that big, tall, or heavy. Certainly some credit should go to the air body control's ability to keep things flat especially in Sport Plus. The difference in steering settings isn't that great, as both are on the lighter side. No complaints there, yet are appropriately responsive and contribute to the GLC 43's high level of driver involvement. It's around now that I should lament that Mercedes doesn't sell the C43 wagon in the States, since that would assuredly be the better vehicle to drive, and be more practical than this coupe. As it is, though. We're stuck with the GLC 43 and in all honesty, it's pretty darn good. The cargo area is also quite obviously diminished in the coupe. By chopping off the boxy top bit, the GLC coupe loses the versatility you'd get with a squared off roof line. On paper, however, the difference isn't that great. The coupe has 17.3 cubic feet of space with the seats raised, effectively a very large trunk versus the regular GLC's 19.4. Lowering the seats creates a maximum space of 49.4 cubic feet, which is smaller than any conventional roofed compact SUV, but again, not that much different than the regular GLC's 56.5 cubes, which is among the segment's smallest figures. Mercedes has yet to announce AMG GLC 43 pricing, but it will almost certainly be the priciest GLC yet. When you consider the price premiums beyond the cost of a normal GLC 300 when opting for the coupe, $4,800, and AMG GLC 43, $13,750, a base price of around $60,000 is likely for the fast fastback model.